four, we are covering the counting chapter. Those are the things that we are discussing today. We will take talk about the uh, what we call the, the basic of counting, and we will talk about uh, two main concepts that we use in counting here, permutation and the combination. Now, the permutation, you can find it in your calculator like NPR. The combination, it is in the calculator as NCR. Keep this information in your mind. We have those things in our calculator. So the basic rule of counting, those are the things that we're going to pass through. We're going to talk about what we call the product rule, the multiplication rule. We will talk about what we call the sum rule, when we add rule, subtraction rule, the division rule, and then we will uh, see how we can represent the counting using the tree diagram. And last of all, we will talk about the permutation and the combination. Those are the things that we're going to talk about. All of them related to what we call the counting problem. Counting, counting, and What's the problem of counting? How many ways I can do something? In how many ways I can do something? So um, the, the basic rule that we have is the product rule, the multiplication rule. البرميتيشن والكومبينيشن اللي هي التوافيق والتباديل بالعربي يا روينا خدتوها بالعربي از التوافيق والتباديل ذا فيرست رول اللي هي البرودكت رول ذس برودكت رول ستيت ذات اف وي كان دو ا بروسيجر ذات كان بي دون از ا تو تاسك ذا فيرست وان تو بي دون ان ان ون وايز اند ذا سكند وان تو بي دون ان ان تو وايز ذن بوث اوف ذيم كان بي دون ان ان ون مولتيبلاي within two ways. Let me give you a simple example here. I can tra travel from the Mam to Riyadh using how many ways? I can travel by my car, I can travel by airplane, or I can go by train. Those are the options to travel from the Mam to Riyadh. So I have three ways to travel from the Mam to Riyadh. Like if I want to travel from the Riyadh to Jeddah, I can travel by my car. I can travel by airplane. So I can say in uh, step one is done by three different ways. Step two is done by two different ways. So all of them are done by three multiply two, which is six ways I have to travel from the mam to Riyadh. صح ولا لا? ممكن I travel from the mam to Riyadh by my car. But then from Riyadh to Jeddah by my car again. Or I can travel from the Mount to Riyadh by airplane. Then I travel from Riyadh to Jeddah by, my, by a car. I rent a car and I travel. And so on. So overall, if I count all the ways, come to travel from the Mount to Jeddah, I have six ways. You got that? So if it happened and I have two successive operations, I do the first one, then I follow it by another step, another operation. If the first one is done by in one ways, be in one tariqa, and the second one is done by in two tariqa, then both of them are done in in one multiply with in two ways. The, the basic or the simple example we can think about, let me put in the bit string. You know what does the bit string mean? Manaha, where I have zeros and one. It's a bit of strength of length seven. So how many places I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven places. Each place I can put what? Zero or one. So how many options? كم طريقة عندي أعبي فيها البوكس الأولاني? Two ways. How many ways to fill the second place? إما أحط zero. أو أحط 1. يا؟ يا أحط 0 يا أحط 1. So I have two options. Same thing for all the seven places. And it's a successive operation. أنا أعبي أول box بعدين بعبي الثاني بعدين الثالث لحد ما أوصل للسابع. So actually I can say this is 2 to about 7 ways. So if they ask me how many ways you have, to make a bit of string of length seven. It's two to the power seven. But if I say in a bit of string of length 
If I say bit string of a length five, مثلا, how many ways I get a Sophia bit string pull her five? This is a different example. Hmm, be basata two to the power five. Two power five, and I end the five places for bit string. Have each one to be filled by zero or one. And so on of the examples. طبعاً, this one is 2 to the power 7. It's 128. As you can see, I have 128 ways to so do a bit string of length 7. كل مرة أختار 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. يتغير بي. How many ways? 128 ways. So this is what we call the product rule. Successive operation. I do a step and I do a step after it. We multiply in that case. So many examples we have. Now, how many different here nice and blades can be made if each blade contain a sequence of a three uppercase English letter followed by three digits? For Anishka, so we have. Gather so we nice and blade. Rahi kun fi have three places. Raha hot fi hum uppercase English letter. بعدين I'm gonna follow it with the three digits أرقام. الحين when I say English letter, how many English letter do I have? Huh? Yeah. Actually, I have twenty six. And how many digit? If I say I have a digit, what I'm talking about? I'm going digit. Digits in here: zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. How did them say we had digits? How many of the digits we have? And the ten digits actually. I have ten of them. So when I'm filling here, أول مكان أنا عارف إني بحط في English letter. So how many English letter عندي? Twenty six. So here بحط twenty six عندي option. Here عندي twenty six option. And here again I have a twenty six option. طبعا followed by a digit فلما أجي أحط a digit I'm talking about 10 options هنا 10 options and 10 options طبعا I have a successive operation so we multiply all the numbers that we have so it's actually 26, 26, 26 10, 10, 10 here 10 to the power 3 and here is the multiplication result it's equal to this number that you can see. Okay? You got it? So this is how we can make a license plate. راح يكون فيها three upper letter case English followed by three digits. طبعا they can change this question in many ways. ممكن يقول لك two upper English and four digits. Okay? <coughs> Again, I'm repeating this. قاعد يقول لي إن قاعد نسوي license plate. License plate هذه فيها three uppercase English letter. وبعدين three digit. الحين لما أقول English letter معناها أنا عندي اثنين ست twenty six option. We know إن عندنا twenty six English letters. لما أقول three digits I'm talking about ten. Digits to choose in between. For this is my license plate. راح يكون فيها ثلاثة حروف. قاعد كلام عن license plate زي لوحة السيارة for example. لا هذا فاصل هذا فاصل هذا separation بس أنا مسويته. We can we can leave it empty. This is nothing. زي لوحة السيارة. لوحة السيارة فيها English letters وفيها digits. فعندي twenty six. Option, our Macan, twenty six option, Thani Macan, twenty six, Thalith Macan, digit here, Iman, and the Gali digit. How many digit I have? Ketep Likum digit, Eddihum. Kem digit Mojud Endik? Ashra. The numbers are from zero to nine, Kem Wahid. They are ten. So for digit, it is ten for ten for ten, then I have three amakin digit. 
وثلاث أماكن للـ letters. So we call 26, 26, 26. We multiply all and we get the result. Okay. طيب, let's see one more example. Let's uh, check one more example. طيب, الحين لو قال لي to English letters followed by one digit. فإيش الكومبينيشن؟ عندي حرفين English وبعدين one digit. For English letters, and the 26, we have 26, with digit, 10 digit. Excellent. So we multiply 26, 26, and 10. It changes on the basis of the given. Okay. Let me give you a tricky one. Three English letters. Followed by even number or even digit, let's say. No, let's make it followed by Two digits. Let's make it by two digits. Just two digits here. So what do you think here? One, two, three. And one and two. This will be 26, 26, 26, 10 and 10. And you get the result. Okay? This can change. So many options. Now, applying this product rule to the function, if you remember when we take the functions here, we will talk about how to count a function, how to count how many functions we have. If I have a function and this function from a set of n elements to another set that has, sorry, it has m elements to another set that has n elements, how many functions we have? كم function أنا ممكن أجيبها من الست اللي فيها m element إلى الست اللي فيها n element. We can do that. Simply, each element هنا راح يطلع منا سهم صح؟ كم سهم راح يطلع من عنده؟ Just one arrow. One arrow for each m element that I have. Now, each one element has how many options to go to? كم خيار عنده كل الالمنت هنا كم اوبشن عنده ان اوبشن فاول المنت عنده ان اوبشن طيب اجل الثاني how many options it have again عنده ان اوبشنز اجل الثالث how many options عنده برضو عنده ان اوبشن so all the n elements كل واحد فيهم عند n options we multiply then n if n if n how many times m times مهم m element مهم m elements كل واحد فيهم عند n option فراح يكون n if n if n if n m من المرات so it is n to the power m لا مش مش minus one يا أمان. It is n to the power m. So this will be the answer. Makes sense. كل واحد من ال elements عند n خيارات يروح لها. صح ولا لا؟ n options. فراح يكون n if n if n m من المرات لأن أنا عندي m elements هنا قاعد أتحرك ما بينهم. So it is n to the power n. طيب الحين if we want to count how many one one function, you remember what does one one mean? Can somebody remind me what does one one mean? Is any one one function? Yeah. So إيش معناها؟ معناها هنا each one received just one arrow. 
لما واحد يروح له الثاني ما يقدر يروح له فالفيرست إليمنت عنده كم أوبشن عنده كل الإن أوبشنز يا أول واحد المجال فاضي عنده عنده كل الأوب... كل الإليمنتس يروح لها ماشي نجي للثاني ما يقدر ياخذ كل الإليمنتس لأن هذا أوريدي صار بوكد فبيكون إن ماينس 1 الحين ما يطلع إلا سهم واحد هذه الفانكشن ما يستلم إلا سهم واحد هي ال 1 1 الإليمنت اللي بعده نقص عليه 2 إليمنتس سو إت إز إن ماينس 2 لحد آخر إليمنت اللي هو ال إن ماينس إن بلس 1 So this is the rule to count a one-one function n n minus two. We had n minus m plus one. Yeah, that's correct. That's correct. So this is how we use this rule to count the functions. This is how we use this rule to count the one-one functions. And here to understand this, let them to the current تعريف ال one-one. إيش يعني 1-1؟ معناها الأسهم المستلمة just one، يعني الـ elements هنا ما تستلم إلا سهم واحد، فلما يوصل له سهم من الـ first element ما ينفع الـ second element يروح له، لا لازم يروح للـ element ثاني، فأول واحد عنده كل الـ n elements to go to، ثاني element عنده n minus one element يروح لهم، لأنه already في واحد أخذ الأولاني. الثالث راح يكون عنده n minus two لأنه already نوخذ عنا مكانين and so on. الحين في ال function كان عادي أقول n نف n نف n لأن it's not one one قاعد أتكلم عن function بشكل عام it's fine to receive more than one arrow. في ال one one function the receive راح يكون just one arrow for each one element so نبدأ نشيل ال elements n n minus one n minus two لحد n minus n بلس 1 نعطي مثال فور اكزامبل الاول كان فانكشنز والثاني هاو ماني 1 تو 1 فانكشنز Okay. ممكن يسألني how many functions. ممكن يسألني how many one one functions. So let's say إن أنا عندي function الأول ال function جاية من set مثلا فيها five elements إلى set فيها seven elements. How many functions we can make from this set to this set? How many functions? The element the first one has seven options. The element the second one has seven options. One here, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. This one has a five elements. For the first one, I have all the seven elements. You go to the second one, and the third, and the fourth, and the fifth. So overall, it is seven to the power five elements. Seven to the power five elements. So overall, it is seven to the power five elements. We have. Okay. Let's try it for one one function now. The same thing. And I have a set we have five elements, and I want to travel to the set that has seven elements. So here I have one, two, three, four, and five. Here I have one, two, three, two, three, and here we go. So, for example, the element the first one goes to here. So how many options it have? Seven options. الحين أجي للإليمنت الثاني هذا خلاص أوريدي بوكت ما أقدر أوديه لسهم ثاني سو هاو ماني أوبشن الإليمنت الثاني عنده؟ عنده 6 أوبشنز النكست كم أوبشن عنده؟ 5 أوبشنز أند سو أون بعدين 4 1 2 3 4 بعدين 3 One, two, three, four, five. So that's it. Seven for six, for five, for four, for three. 
وقفنا ليش؟ لان احنا عندنا فايف اليمنتس. You got it? ها واضح؟ We are still having examples. Now let's go for more complicated, more realistic examples from real life. Here we are talking about the telephone numbering plan. Actually, telephone numbering plan, making a telephone. So we have here in the North American numbering plan, the NAMP specifies that a telephone number consists of 10 digits, consisting of a three digits area code, three digits is the office code, and four digit station code. They don't make another on telephone. And in a fat hot, Sahola, and in a fat hot am the country, we have a hot city, but if it's a telephone number. So, and in a three digits area code, one, two, three area code, bad ha, three digits office code. Followed by one, two, three, four digits, what we call station code. The numbers have a restriction. If we say we are putting X, معناها, and now we are talking about numbers from zero to nine, digits from zero to nine. Digits from zero to nine, how many of them we have? Ten. And the Ashra digit from zero to nine, sir? Am I correct? Are you following up? If I in N, it means I'm talking about the numbers from 2 to 9. Min 2 to 9, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And the 8 of them. If I say N, I'm talking about 8 of them. If I say I have um, why? I'm talking about digits. Here, zero, one. And how many? Yeah, two options. And then I'm going to put in the hagada hot Y. Alhim telephone plan, fi old plan, u fi new plan. In old plan, can I put in NYX, NNX, and XXXX? Will in new plan, sorry, I put in NXX? NXX and XXX and X. كان عندهم خطة قديمة ماشيين عليها بالتليفون. نمبرك. وصار في عندهم خطة جديدة. في الخطة القديمة كانوا يستخدمون N وعرفنا إيش ال N. ال N is a number from two to nine. ال Y is a number zero or one. وال X من zero to nine. We know now إيش يعني N وإيش يعني Y وإيش يعني X. Be careful. عندنا الأولد بلان بالشكل هذا وعندنا النيو بلان بالشكل هذا إيش نتوقع المطلوب؟ نبغى نعرف الأولد بلان إيش الخيارات اللي موجودة or how many ways we can make numbers وإن في النيو بلان بكم طريقة ممكن نسوي number so simply n how many ways n it's eight صح وال y Huh? Are you following? Two options, little y. Will x? Ten. Again, n n. Yeah, n n. So I'm talking about eight fill eight fill x, which is ten. But then Andy, four x's. Yeah, need ten. Ten fit ten fit ten. Can you see what we did? We multiply everything, and this will be the old bland telephone numbering. Huh? This number. يعني they cut it into parts. اللي سواها إن they cut جاب ال nyx لحالها, ال nxx لحالها, وال nnx هنا لحالها, وال nxx لحالها. بعدين they multiply the result. We can do it at once. أنا حطيته في سطر واحد, and we can multiply all the numbers, and this will be the result. This is how many ways we can form uh, the, num the telephone number using what we call the old plan. And if I'm talking about the new plan, how the new plan, it is N, X, X, 
n x x and four uh, x's. So الاختبار it's up to you. وضح الحل using your own way. The n اتفقنا انها eight. وال x is a ten and a ten. نرجع مرة ثانية n x x which is eight. في ال ten في ال ten. ونرجع لل x اللي هي ten في ال ten في ال ten. Multiply with a ten four times. Huh? I came here and I changed everything. Add, you can use my way. استخدم طريقتي, no problem. So the new plan will give you this. Yeah, لازم يعطونكم the plan. So this will be the result. Okay. بحث الفكرة. It's very easy, yeah. We just have to, to focus a little bit in the question. Now, um, we are still talking about this product rule, getting this application on a product rule. What we will talk about is counting a subset of a finite set. Remember, when we talked set, for S, and I from subsets, you remember in the Gilna, in the how many subsets I have of a set of cardinality, cardinality of S. I have two to the power cardinality of S subset. Remember that? Added the majmuat al juziyya min majmuha. We mentioned that it's two to the power of cardinality of S. How did they find this using this product rule actually? I'm going to give you a simple example, and from this you can generalize. And here, for if I have the set S, has the elements A, B, C, D, E, and F. How many elements I have in my set? I have six elements. Each one element here is associated with a zero or a one. إذا حطيته في المجموعة حقتي الجزئية in my in my subset, if I put it in my subset, I'm gonna say one. If I'm not choosing it to be in my subset, بقول Zero. يعني أنا يا أختار ال A أحطها في مجموعة الجديدة ال partial subset ولا إني ما أختارها. So it's zero or one. I can choose the B or not choose the B. I can choose the C or not choose the C. I can choose the D or not. E not. F or not. صح ولا لا؟ أنا لو بسوي مجموعة جزئية بختار elements من ال S وبجمعها مع بعض. ال element يا اختاره يا اني ما راح اختاره. If I choose it, one. I didn't choose it, zero. So actually the set S is associated with a zero and ones هنا. ف if I'm talking about the product rule, ال element يا اني اختاره يا اني ما اختاره. So I have two options to a power H. One, two, three, four, five, six. So to the power six ways to form my subset. Again, each element, إما إني أختاره وأحطه في subset أو إني ما راح أختاره وما راح أحطه في subset. Ha, think about it. This is S. فيها ال A, فيها ال B, C, D, E, and F. The element is either in my set. Or not in my set. بج بختار مجموعة جزئية بجمع مجموعة من الإلمنت وبحطهم مع بعض. مثلاً أنا لو أخذت ال A وال B وال C. It's a subset. لو أخذت ال A وال F. It's a subset. لو أخذت ال E وال F وال D. It's a subset. For the elements is either with me or not. So I have zero one options. It is two to the power six ways then to choose elements from my set. So to the power six, معناها two to the power of cardinality of S, اللي هي how many elements I have in S, which prove this rule. Okay. There is a one-one correspondence between the subset S and a bit of string of length S, اللي هي zero one, a bit of string. And this is how we know how many subsets we have. Now, the product rule that we talk about can be generalized for more than one set, more than one step. 
إذا كان عندي set A1, set A2, set A3, كلها finite set. The number of elements for Cartesian product of this set is the product of the number of elements in each set. You remember we mentioned that. So if I multiply set A1 with A2 with A M, how many elements I have in the product? It's equal to the product of the number of elements I have. Also, this is this is true. And if I'm doing a task in A1 way a task in A2 way, a task in AM way, then all of them can be done by the multiplication of uh, the task that we have. And this is how we write the product rule in general. The cardinality of A1 for A2 for AM is cardinality of A1, multiply with cardinality A2, multiply with cardinality of AM. Okay. يعني نفس اللي سويناه في product, we are generalizing this to the sets as well. For the product of the set. One example is the DNA. And we don't have to be uh, very strict with the, the, the rules, the, 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 the names that we have here. In general, let's take the statistical part of this one. The DNA and the genome. The gene is a segment of the DNA. Juza, mean the DNA that encode the particular protein and the entirely of genetic information of organism is what we call the genome. Alhim DNA consists of two strands of a blocks known as nucleotide. You can see in the picture here. This is how the DNA looks like. And then a two, 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 we call them strands. One and two. Each nucleotide composed into a, a four bases, okay, and then an adenine, we refer to it with A, and then a cytosine, we refer to it with C, and then a quantine here, we refer to it with G, and we have the thymine, and we refer to it with T. You want me to enlarge? Okay, good like this. So as we mentioned, in the mDNA, it has the two strands. Those are the two strands that we have. Had a picture. Here's the picture. Have a look at the picture here. This is a DNA. We have it two strands. It two strands, we have bases. Four bases, actually. Four bases that come and the links. Okay. Quinine here, cytosine, and the thymine, and the adenine. G, C, T, and the A. We refer to them with the letters G, and C, and T, and the A. Let's continue with our example. So, a DNA of a bacteria, for example, I would about bacteria, you know the bacteria. The DNA of the bacteria has about 10 to the power 5 and 10 to the power 7 links. The links. It has almost 10 to the power 5, 10 to the power 7 links, depending on the type of the bacteria. One of the four bases, kill one of the links, one of the four bases we have. So to know how many type of bacteria we will have, since ending of four bases, each one of the bases making a link, and how many links we have, we have 10 to the power five. So we have four to the power 10 to the power five types of bacteria. Does this make sense? If I'm taking the 10 to the power five. 
في المامالز فور اكزامبل عارفين ايش يعني المامل اللي هي الثدييات عندنا 10 to the power 8 لحد 10 to the power 10 let's take 10 to the power 8 so if I'm taking 10 to the power 8 وانا عندي 4 bases وكل واحدة من ال bases راح تسوي link and I have 10 to the power 8 link so it is 4 10 to the power 8 type of mammals we may have Okay, different sequences of the base of the DNA. Yeah, the DNA can you can end up four power ten to the power eight type of the DNA. The human, for example, the human genome include approximately twenty three thousand genes, each have a one thousand or more links. But for the human, it is a 1,000 link, so it's going to be 4 to the power 1,000 different type of the gene. Now, biologists and mathematicians and computer scientists all work determining the DNA sequence, the genome of different organisms. This is a big question. Scientists, biologists, or mathematicians, or computer scientists as well, working on having a calculation to find the different type of sequences we have. Yeah, good question, yeah, Samara. As I told you, it is from two. So I'm going to go min four ten to the power five. La had four ten to the power seven. This one from four ten to the power eight. La had four ten to the power ten. Okay. You got it? What exactly you didn't get? And in a four bases, the A with C with G with T. Had him and Hamithal Thani. And in a four bases, the A with C with G with T. How many bases? And I need four. They may and I have and the zero one. For I need four options. And the links for the gene. And links, each one of them is one of those four. But I'm allowing the ten to the power five links. So how many ways I have? I have four to the power ten to the power five. Say, ma hna kena ngul we have two to the power seven. Lana and the zero and one. Here I'm talking about four bases. So it is four to the power ten five. Okay. Now we move to talk about what we call the sum rule. Alhin, we have what we call the sum rule. That one was the product rule. Now we will talk about what we call the sum rule. The sum rule appear when we have things that happen in one way or in another way. مش successive زي من شوي يعني I travel from Damam to Riyadh and then from Riyadh to Jeddah. So it is successive. واحد يصير والثاني يجي بعده. Now for the sum rule, one task can be done in in one way or in in two ways. يعني عندي two option. In this case, we add in one plus in two, not multiply here. We add in one plus in two. Simple example: We have the mathematics method and department must choose either a student or a faculty member. فا هم إما راح يختارون student. Or, راح يختارون faculty member as a representative of the university committee. How many choices are there for this representative if we have 37 member of the faculty and 83 of mathematics major? And we note in that we don't have a faculty that's a student at the same time. So how many faculty members we have? 37. 
How many mathematics major, يعني student we have? We have 83. وعندنا R, so we add actually. It's that 37 plus 83, the result is equal 120. So we have 120 possible ways to pick a representative here. Okay. You got that? For some rule, you can end the tariq team to do something. So overall, we add. Depend on the question, yeah, yeah. The question had the 37 and 83. The sum rule in term of sets now, the sum rule also, we are applying the sum rule when we talk about the set. If you remember, when we talk about sets, I have a set A and I have a set B. If I want to find the cardinality of their union, then this is the cardinality of A plus the cardinality of B. And this happens only if they are disjoint. They don't have elements that are shared in between them. Nothing is shared between A and B. In this case, how many elements in their union? It's equal to the sum of the how many elements in half in each one of them. And this time can be generalized. If I have A1, A2, had A M sets, and all of them are disjoint, huh? The intersection of any two of them is equal to phi. Then the cardinality of the union is equal to cardinality of A1, cardinality of A2, had cardinality of A M. Should be disjoint to apply this rule. If they are not disjoint, then the cardinality of the union, if you remember, we take this already, it's equal to cardinality الأول plus cardinality الثاني minus the cardinality of the intersection. You remember this? وهذه نسميها subtraction rule. هذه نسميها subtraction rule. Some rule لازم يكونوا disjoint. They should be disjoint here. Okay? Later on, we'll talk about the subtraction rule. In case they are disjoint, we are using the sum rule. Cardinality of the union equal to the sum of the cardinality of the sets. Now, sometimes you can end in the sum rule with the product rule. قاعدة الضرب مع قاعدة الaddition ممكن يكونوا موجودين في نفس السؤال. Example. Suppose that a statement labels in a programming language can be either a single letter. Yeah, ها شوفنا either ها شوفنا الأور. فمعناها عندي طريقتين مختلفتين to do the thing. ممكن يكون single letter or letter followed by a digit. ممكن يكون letter ويجي بعد إيش digit. Find the number of possible labels. فأنا إما يكون single letter يعني راح أختار بس letter واحد. How many options I have to choose a single letter? ها single letter قاعد أتكلم عن حرف واحد. How many options عندي? I have twenty six actually. طيب عشان يكون letter وبجي بعده بحط digit. ها how many letter يكون عندي? Twenty six وبحط بعده digit. How many? Ten. فأنا عندي two options. إما single letter, إما letter followed by a digit. Single letter عندي 26 options. Uh, letter followed by a digit عندي 26 multiply with a 10. And بما إن عندي or, we add the answer. فراح يكون 26 plus 260. This equal to 286. And this will be the result. فزي ما أنتم شايفين عندي or, وبعدين فيها سكسسيف معروف لما يقول لي لتر يا حنان على طول انا كيف اعرف كم لتر عندي ابدا احسب A, B, C, D, E, F لحد ال Z كم لتر عندي 26 الاور از جمع يا والديجيت كلمه ديجيت بشكل عام من غير ما يحدد انا عندي 10 ديجيت اللي هي من 0 لل 9 Got it? You got that?
مو قال لي سنجل لتر يعني حرف واحد فاتس 26 وقال لي لتر فولد باي ديجيت يعني عندي لتر 26 اوبشن وبيجي بعد ديجيت 10 اوبشن سو 26 مولتبلاي وذ 10 اوكي يا هيا قال حرف واحد قال سنجل لتر بس حدد لي ايش هو سنجل لتر هذا مو تركني اختار زي ما ابغى احنا قاعدين نتكلم عن كاونتينج عن العد فلما يقول لي سنجل لتر انا عندي 26 خيار عندي 26 لترز تو فيل يو جيت ات فهو ما حدد لي ما قال سنجل لتر يعني تعال حط لي لتر وامشي لا قال لي انه هاو ماني وايز يو هاف تو دو ذس ها شوف لي كويستشن شوف لي كويستشن يا هاي فايند ذا نمبر اوف بوسيبل ليبلز كاونتينج لا ما ايوه طبعا هو ما حدد لي اللتر لو قال لي حط لي لتر اي خلاص انا اكون عارفه اني بحط اتس جاست ون اوبشن يو ار كوريكت لكن لما يكون تاركه اوبن ام توكن اباوت اول ذا 26 All of them are possible to be there. Let's go to one more complicated example. راح برضو يكون عندنا multiplication and addition rule at the same time or the sum rule at the same time. We are talking about counting password. Now each user, let's read the question carefully. Each user on a computer system has a password, which is six to eight. كاركتر نوم الباسورد 6 to 8 فالباسورد ممكن يكون طوله 6 او 7 او 8 ولا مو هذا معنى الكلام؟ It is 6 to 8 كاركتر لونج باسورد فانا عندي 3 options it's an or in between them اما 6 كاركتر لونج 7 or 8 لأنه قال from 6 to 8 character long where each character is an uppercase letter or a digit فأنا أقدر أحط يا uppercase letter أو digit في اختياراتي each password must contain at least one digit أضاف لي شرط أن كل password لازم يكون فيه one digit الحين لما اقول ان الشويس اما ابر كيس لتر انا عندي 26 ابر كيس لتر اور ا ديجيت هاو ماني ديجيتس اي هاف اي هاف 10 ديجيت فاوفر اول انا عندي 36 ويز تو فيل ذا سبيسز اللي موجوده عندي صح ولا لا؟ صح ولا لا؟ وقال لي ان نقدر نستخدم ابر كيس لتر ونقدر نستخدم ديجيت فأنا عندي 36 options فأنا لما أجي للباسورد اللي طوله 6 I'm talking about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 places كل مكان منها بحط فيه 36 option 36 option 36 option 36 36 and 36 so I'm talking about uh, uh, 36 to a power 6 صح؟ Same thing we do it with the password a, a seven. It is 36 power six. With password eight, it is 36 power eight. طيب نجي للcondition إن each password لازم يكون في at least one digit. إيش يعني at least one digit؟ يعني not all letters. يعني ما ينفع يكون كل letters. صح ولا لا؟ مش هذا معناها؟ Yeah, you are correct. This one, so three. This one to the power seven. تبغوا معي الشرط هذا. لما يقول لي إن each password must contain at least one digit, معناها عكس إن يكون all letters. ما ينفع يكون all letters. لازم at least one digit يكون عندي. So we come to the thirty-six to the power six هنا. وأشيل من هالcase اللي كلهم 
letters, which is 26 to the power 6. مش أنا عندي 26 letters. فالكيس اللي راح يكونوا كلهم letter راح أشيلها. اللي هي 26 to the power 6. Same thing for this one. أستثني منها ل 26 to the power 7. Just one second. Oh. Just one second. The slide just closed. One second, a tag. So let me do it again. زي ما اتفقنا ان انا عندي password من طولة 6 و password طولة 7 و password طولة 8. Yeah? وكل ما كان كل واحد من الباسورد هذه راح ياخذ 36 في كل بلوك ايش ال 36 هذه اللي هي 26 اللي هي letters and the 10 اللي هي digits yeah so uh, i'm talking about 36 power 6 i'm talking about 36 power 7 i'm talking about 36 power Eight. بعدين بنشيل من هالكيس اللي الباسورد يكون كلها all letters راح استثني الحالة اللي فيها كلها letters so راح اشيل منها 26 power 6 26 power 7 and بشيل هنا 26 power 8 عشان استثني الحالة اللي كلها letters اللي ما فيها ولا digit لأن لازم يكون عندي at least one digit in there. We do the calculation. You can see it here. Password 6 this. Password 7 is this. Password 8 is this. وطبعا سنس ان انا عندي branches عندي or لازم اجمعهم كلهم. We add this to this. To this, and this will be the result. So this is the addition of password six, password seven, and password eight. Here we go. The answer. You got it. البداية بس إن قال لي إن each user of the computer system has a password, password which is six to eight character long. إيش يعني six to eight character long؟ معناها من ستة إلى ثمانية. من ستة إلى ثمانية يعني عندي password طوله six, password طوله seven, و password طوله eight. سميتهم P6, P7, P8. وسميتها لي بس. Okay. Okay. Here we go with one more example. The internet address. You know, in the future, it's my internet address, and it's IP number, it's the address, yeah? And it's the location of the computer. So uh, the version 4 of the internet protocol, it's called IPv4, it uses 32 bits. Exactly, yeah, Rinat. بالضبط صحيح كلام. So what we are talking about here is the internet location اللي هو location الجهاز على الانترنت نسميها ال internet protocol IP version seven. ال internet protocol version seven has one, two, three, four, five classes. في class A the location راح يكون zero. بعدين عندنا from one to eight knitted, or what you call the net ID. وعندنا بعدين الhost ID. 
the class B the same thing, the class C and the class D and the class E. So let's read what they have instructions here. For the class A address, it used for the largest network, it is a zero, but it has seven of the net ID with 24 of the host ID. Seven bit net ID, 24 bit of host ID. The class B now address, it used for medium sized network. It is one zero followed by 14, huh, Rafin? Net ID or 16 host ID. It's one zero followed by 14 net ID and then 16 host ID. Here and the 14. We have and the 16 places. We have and the seven places. We have and the 24 places. The class C type. It is used for smaller networks. It is a 110, 110, followed by how many net ID? 21. And the Hina? 21. For how many host ID? It has eight of them. So this is how many net ID, how many host ID. The classes D and the E are not used. Now, till now, they are not assigning them to any address of the of the computers on the internet. Only the classes A, B, C are available. Not important thing. And now, the one, 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 one and one and one is not available as a net ID for a class A network. Which net ID has the class A if it has seven places? Seven places bit. The option in the kill home one is not in the class A. Also, a host ID consisting of all zeros and all ones not available for any network. So the host ID, so A, B, C, cannot be all zeros, cannot be all ones. فالمتوقع الحين ايش راح يطلب من عندي لكلاس A كم يكون فيها لكلاس B كم راح يكون فيها لكلاس C كم راح يكون فيها Okay so this is the question how many different IB for Virgil 4 address available for computer on the internet نعرف مبدئيا ان احنا عندنا كلاس A مستخدم وعندنا كلاس B أو راح يكون class C. I have three options with or in between them. So at the end, I will add. Let's check for the class A. طيب. Zero ثابت. بعدين يجي عندي net ID. How many options I have? Or how many places I have? Seven. Each one to be filled with a zero or one. So actually, I have two to the power seven. حق net ID. ولا مش هذا بيت سترينج وسبع اماكن في النت اي دي فاتكلم عن 2 to the power 7 لكن نلاحظ ان قال لي ان النت اي دي في الاي ما ينفع تكون كلها 1 فبشيل منها 1 it's 2 to the power 7 لكن بستثني الكيس اللي يكون all ones so it's 2 to the power 7 وبشيل منها 1 كيس اللي هي فيها all ones. In net ID, how many I have? قلنا عندنا 24. Yeah. فراح يكون إيش? 2 to the power 24. لكن لاحظ إن ال host ID لما all zeros, all ones, not available. تنشال. So بشيل two cases. Excellent. I'm removing two things. فهذا على ال class A. Let's check the class B الحين. هذه 14. وهذه 16. It, it's lagging just a second. It's lagging. <coughs> okay, it works now. في class B, the one zero ثابتة, لكن the net ID 
إذا 2 to the power 14 في عندي أي شيء to be excluded؟ لا خلاص it's just 2 to the power 14 and the host ID it is 2 to the power 16 لكن بشيل منها 2 لأن برضو قلنا إن all zeros all ones لازم نستثنيها قال لي هنا إن أنا لازم أستثني اللي all zeros اللي all one آخر سطر نيجي للكلاس C it's one one zero بعدين عندي واحد وعشرين مكان للnet ID so it is two to the power twenty one ما في عليها أي شرط so it is just two to the power twenty one ونيجي للhost ID how many I have eight so it is two to the power eight لكن لحا شيل منها two لأن ما ينفع تكون all zeros ما ينفع تكون all ones طبعا the result calculated هنا وهنا بعدين we add them all and this will give us overall the internet address that we have you get it so and you can find all the details هنا the class A is two seven minus one two twenty four minus two class B two fourteen two sixteen minus two class C two twenty one 2, 8 minus 2. Then they multiply it. Then they get the result. They get the result. They add the class A with class B with class C. And this will be the final result that we have. And you can write it in the direct way. Like I did it. In this way, it is full. But you have to find the result here. Equal, equal, equal. The number. And then we add class A. Class B. With the class C and get the total result. Okay, you got that. Sorry. Huh? Big work. Sabula. My hello, anybody? You have to focus, a kid. You have to focus. This is all recorded. You can study it and watch the video again. ليش إحنا شلنا اثنين؟ لأن في last line هنا قال لي إن الhost ID ما ينفع يكون all zeros or all one. لازم نستثني الكيسز اللي all zeros all one. يجي بصداع لأن لما تشغلون روح مخكم كذا يبدأ يصدع شوي. فلازم نشغل مخنا شوي. Okay. اقرأوا ال lecture. ارجعوا شوفوا ال record. And you will find it very easy إن شاء الله. It's written here with all the details, طبعاً, if you want to. And here the subtraction rule. The subtraction rule. Uh, I mentioned the subtraction rule. We say it in uh, the best uh, model to show me the subtraction rule is when we have two sets. Yalla, stay with me now uh, for this example. If I have two sets and not disjoint with an intersection in between them, then the cardinality of A plus cardinality of B minus the cardinality of the intersection is equal to the cardinality of the union. And this is what you call the subtraction rule. How we say it, it is a task that can be done be in one way or in two ways. The total number of the ways is in one plus in two minus the number of the way that both can happen at the same time, when both of them happen at the same time. Now, this is one important example. You will see it for the quiz, and you will see the final as well the questions similar to this. Let me call it a bit of string, we will use it as a subtraction rule. I think in the TMA and the so on, just like that. How many bit of string of length eight? Either start with a bit one or end with two bits zero zero. So I gotta tell them in the in the 
in a start with one or end with zero zero. طيب هو في case ممكن إن start with one and end with zero zero صح ولا لا? So I have to write it. إن أنا عندي case اللي هو start with one. عند الكيس اللي هو end with zero zero وعند الكيس اللي when it start with one and end with zero zero and this is a subtraction rule add add subtract start with one and I'm talking about eight length bit strength فأنا لو بدأت ب one أنا أكون already واحد من الأماكن حجز already so I have seven places so it will be two to the power seven which is hundred and twenty eight ways End with zero zero. Already مكانين خلاص محجوزين ب zero zero. فكم مكان فاضي عندي عشان أبدأ أحط في أرقام. I have six places, so it is two to the power six, which is sixty four ways. الحين case لما both happen, it start with zero, with one sorry, and it ends with zero zero. So عندي ثلاث أماكن already شغلت. فيبقى عندي five places, so it is two to the power five, which is thirty two. Ways we have uh, to be happening at the same time. So, the result will be this, this minus this one, and this is the subtraction rule. It is 128 plus 62 minus 32. The final result is 160 ways we have to make a string of length eight start with one or ends with zero zero. Again, ليش حطينا ناقص؟ لأن عندي or. ال or تذكرني باليونيون. يعني ممكن صار بالطريقة هذه أو صار بالطريقة الثانية. لكن تهمن إن ال shared thing, ال subtraction, ال shared thing. Who gave me or? Who gave me or? إحنا ما عرفنا بال or نجمع. اللي هو الاديشن رول لكن ان كيس كان فيها اور وكان ممكن يصيرون بنفس الطريقه او بين ات ذا سيم تايم اي مين لازم نستخدم السبتراكشن رول ليت مي اكسبلين ذس ليتل بيت مور اتفقنا ان انا لما يكون عندي وان ثينك اند وان ثينك وما في شير نستخدم السم رول نقول إن الكاردينالتي اليونيون is equal to the cardinality of the sum. لكن in case كان عندي one thing and the other thing and they have a way where they both share, both happen at the same time. لازم يكون في subtraction. راح يكون كم مرة سوا A plus how many ways the B will happen. Minus how many way both will happen at the same time. And this will give me the union B. And in that example, let's use the subtraction. They can happen at the same time. If you check, ممكن إنه يبدأ بزيرو. One, sorry. وينتهي بزيرو زيرو. وممكن يبدأ بone وينتهي بزيرو زيرو. لأن في اشتراك في some something common. So we have to use the subtraction rule. الحين لو ما كان يصيرون بنفس الطريقة we add them. If you remember, لما كان عندنا إن مثلاً letters وعندي twenty six وعندي digits ten. لما بقول letter or digit راح أجمعهم direct. بقول thirty six. ليش؟ لأنه ما في common ما ينفع أن يكون letter or digit at the same time. لما تكلمنا عن الباسوردز قلنا باسورد 6 و باسورد 7 و باسورد 8 كنت أجمعهم على طول لأنه ما في common ما راح يكون باسورد 6 و 7 ولا 8 مشترك ما بينهم فكنا نستخدم ال addition rule الحين ال subtraction rule اللي هي نطرح فيها المشترك لما يكون في شيء مشترك ما بينهم Okay, and this example can be changed. ممكن يقول لنا seven 
length. ممكن يقول يقول start with a zero zero. Okay, and with one one. They can change it in different way and they can form so many questions out of this one. Easy or la la? This is a very important example. There is there are revision question in the LMS. You will see something similar to this. Try to solve it, please. And to come revision little counting. And in and in a division rule. We have what we call the division rule. Okay, not that much used. Uh, Sum with multiplication with subtraction are the most important ones. A division rule state that there are n by d ways to do a task if it can be done using a procedure that can be carried in n ways. And for every w, exactly d of the n ways correspond to the way w. بمعنى أنا لو كان عندي هنا n ways to do something تجمع منهم d things each time. So the overall ways to do it is n divided by d. Now, the term of sets, if I have a finite set A, the union of n pairwise disjoint subset, each with d element, then n is equal cardinality of A and d. In terms of functions, it can end a function from A to B, where both are finite set, and for every element in B, there is exactly D values X in A, such that F of X equal to Y, then the cardinality of B is the cardinality of A and D. Let's check this example on this division. How many ways are there to seat four people around a circular table? where two seats are considered the same when each person has the same left and right neighbor and end in circular table. Find the four seats. Okay. I'm trying to set four people on those seats. Become طريقة أن أقدر أجلس الأربع people على table. Considering in the seat is the same if the left and right neighbor is the same. فمثلا مبدئيا انا الشخص رقم واحد بجلسه هنا بعدين بخليه يجلس هنا بنفس الشخص اللي على يمينه وعلى يساره بعدين بجيبه هنا بعدين بجيبه هنا so how many ways I have to set the first person he is having four ways to set Yeah. What about the second person? Three ways to set. The fourth one, the third one, two ways. Will akhir one way. I am going to adjust one. The third one, he will get the same choice to sit here. Three choices to sit here. When he sits the third one. الثالث يبقى عنده مكانين والأخير ما يبقى عنده إلا خيار واحد. So overall أنا عندي 24 options للسيتنج. Okay overall أنا عندي 24 options هذا if we multiply this this is what we call the factorial form this is equal to 24. هذا الرقم تلاقونه بالكالكوليتر uh, the factorial form it is 4 في 3 في 2 في 1 it's actually equal to 24. Yeah, the first one is only four choices. The second one will have three choices. The third one will have two. The last one will have only one option to set. So this is four for three for two for one. This is what we call factorial four. It's actually equal to 24. But considering that the person one, I can move it here. ويعتبر the same setting لأن they said إن it's the same setting إذا كان ال1 to the left and the right are the same فممكن يمسك كت اللي على يمينه وعلى يساره وينتقل على الكرسي الثاني بنفس الطريقة فهي is considered to be sitting on the same thing بعدين he can move هنا again and he can move هنا again 
with the same neighbors, next to Ashkas, Alaymina, Alaysara, how many ways he can move between the chairs? Actually, four ways he can do this. And the Arba, Marat, it harrak, ma bain al karasi, be next to neighbors, Yamina, and Yasara, and it is considered the same sitting. And the same thing for the person two, the same thing for the person three, and the four. كل واحد فيهم ممكن يلف على الطاولة كامل with the same neighbor to the right and to the left and it is considered the same sitting. So using the division rule, it's 24 divided by 4 and this will be six different seating arrangements we have using the division rule. So the division rule is about age and I have a group of output each method and four are the same. So we divide by four. Okay. I'm going to show you one more example, one very common example. And how many ways you can Arrange the letters of the name Muhammad. Now, first of all, how many letters I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So it is factorial eight ways to arrange them. It's factorial four. It's factorial four. الحين عندي eight letters وبوزعهم على ثمان أماكن. I want to rearrange the letters of the, the name Muhammad. It's eight for seven for six for five for four for three for two fill one. So I'm talking about factorial eight. Now, what are the letters that are repeated? M is repeated three times. So we divide actually by factorial three. This is the rule. And I the letter three, letter M is repeated three times. We divide by factorial three using the division rule, and this will give me how many ways I can arrange the, the, the letters of the word Muhammad. Type how many ways I can arrange the letters of the word infinity. Huh. Let me write the infinity like this. And how many ways I can arrange it? First of all, how many letters I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So it is factorial eight. Now, how many letters are repeated? And the I is repeated three times. So we divide by factorial three. And N is repeated two times. So we divide by factorial two. And this is how many ways we can do arrangement of the word infinity. This is one common example they give for this division rule thing. <clears throat> بالضبط إذا في أشياء متكررة نقسم عليها هذا ال idea of the division الحين the tree diagram is an easy way to represent uh, the process that we have uh, and uh, make it easier to get the result we can solve many counting problems through the use of the three day ground where the branch represents the possible choices and the leaves represent possible outcomes. I actually did this one. I explained for you the Dammam Riyad Jidda example. So for this example here, we have a t-shirt that states I love to read mathematics. And it comes of different sizes, five different sizes. It comes as a small, medium, large, X large, and double X large. So I have a small, medium, large, X large, and double X large uh, sizes. Each size comes in four colors. It can be white, it can be red, green, it can be black. 
except the X large comes only in red and green and the black and the double X large comes only in green and a black. So the small you give kill the one. White, red, green and black. The medium white, red, green and black. The large white, red, green and black. The X large jibes bil thalat and one red, green and black. And the double X large it just come in green and black. This is what they say. Hatina have three. Yeah. So how can I know how many ways or how many T-shirts I have uh, to keep in my stock so that I have one size, one color from each? We count here. It is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen. Actually, we have seventeen T-shirts. Uh, if we want, no, we don't count it like this, not four, 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 three, two. We count them, we count the branches. And then the small, medium, large, X large, double X large, كل واحد يجي منا one color. فأحسب كم مفروض يكون عندي. Actually, I have 17 t-shirts to be available in my stock. مش نجمعنا, عدينا. We counted. يعني الحين السؤال هذا مش إنه واضح إن أنا عندي ال small medium large x large double x large وكل واحد راح يجي منه four لا حدد شيء راح يجي منه four colors في واحد راح يجي منه three colors واحد راح يجي منه two colors we count the branches and we know how many t-shirts we will have in here Now we reach the permutation. In the permutation, um, the permutation or combination is the tawafiq or tabadil. Permutation is the tabadil in Arabic. In the calculator, you will find it as MPR. Uh, the permutation is the set of distinct objects in an order arrangement of this object. An order arrangement of R elements of a set is what we call an R permutation. So, 3, 1, 2 is an arrangement of the set S. It's a permutation. 3, 2 is a 2 permutation of the S. For the permutation in NPR, think it like P. In R, معناها how many ways I can take R things out of N elements. أنا عندي N elements وبختار منهم R elements. This what does it mean? مثلا a two permutation of the the set one two three is one two one three two one and two three three one and three two. How many of them we have? We have six. فإذا قلت what is the three permutation two كم مرة أقدر أسوي تباديل لشيئين بأخذهم من ثلاثة it is six and you can find this using your calculator يعني أنا عندي three things three numbers as you can see بختار منهم كم two each time بكم طريقة I can do this I can do it in six ways now this is the, the rule of the permutation. You don't have to, wear, to, to worry about it at all and you are using your calculator. The permutation of n and r, it's n, n minus one, n minus two, لحد n minus r plus one. In another way, the permutation of n r is factorial in n على factorial n minus r. Noticing that the permutation of n zero is one for any n that we have. Example which is the most important thing. How many ways are there to select? Huh? بس أشوف كلمة select يعني قاعد أختار. First prize, winner, and the second prize, winner, and the third prize, winner, from 100 different people. فأنا عندي 100 people. كم راح أختار من عندهم؟ ولا؟ بختار first prize, 
second prize و third prize فأنا عندي مية وبختار منهم ثلاثة How do we know it's a permutation? The permutation, the order is important. ترتيب مهم. أنا بختار الأول عشان يأخذ جائزة الأولى. والثاني راح يأخذ الجائزة الثانية. والثالث راح يأخذ الجائزة الثالثة. فأكيد the order مهم. يعني أنا اختار الأول. بعطي مبلغ معين والثاني بياخذ مبلغ اقل والثالث مبلغ اقل سو ام توكن اباوت اوردر هنا في ترتيب سو so انا قاعد اختار ثلاثه والترتيب مهم فا ام توكن اباوت برميتيشن ام توكن اباوت 100 برميتيشن 3 يوز يور كالكوليتر تو جيت ذا انسر اور ان ذيس از ايكوال تو 100 في 99 في 98 اند ذيس ويل بي ذا انسر Okay. So the permutation always be an option. For example, in how many ways we can select a president. And a vice president from a class of thirty five students. Yeah, what is this? Permutation or no? And I'm the class. V35. How many I'm choosing? Can one choose? Can one choose? I'm choosing two, and I know this is a permutation because the order important. مهم ال order هنا لأن واحد بيكون الرئيس واحد نائب الرئيس. So I'm talking about 35 permutation two. And uh, this is 35 multiplied with 34, and we get the result. طبعا من آل الحاسبة direct حتى من غير ما تكتبون كذا it can get you the result. You have to practice how to find the permutation. We have more examples. Suppose that a saleswoman has visited eight different cities. She must begin her trip in a specific city. And the thamania cities one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Our city is specific. يعني محددة خلاص يعني ما 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 يحتاج داخلها في حسبتنا لأن the first city is specific معروفة. But she can visit the other seven cities in any order she want to. For how many cities I have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Each time she has to choose seven out of seven. She's doing a permutation, and this actually equal to factorial seven. ممكن بطريقة ثانية أقول إن أول مرة يكون عندها seven cities to choose in between. The second time راح يكون عندها six cities to choose. بعدين five, بعدين four, بعدين three, بعدين two, بعدين one. This is another way to find it. إما أفكر فيها كذا اللي هي factorial seven أو أفكر فيها as a permutation لأن هي عندها seven cities وراح تختار تنقل ما بين seven cities. She's doing a permutation. The order is important here. So we are talking about seven permutation seven. It equal factorial seven equal to five thousand and forty here. Okay, so she had 5,040 baths to visit those cities. Our city, Thabta. It is an affix thing. We have seven to travel in between. Let's check this one. How many permutations of three letters, of the letters, I'm sorry, how many permutations of the letters that contain the string A, B, C? 
I want to do a permutation of those letters. ولكن considering the A B C as a one string يعني كقطعة واحدة راح أحركها زي ما هي فراح يكون عندي one, two, three, four, five and six. مش أنا the A B C قاعد أعملها كقطعة واحدة as a one string قاعد مهما أغير لازم تكون the A B C is there. So I have A B C. With D, with E, with F, with G, with H, I have six of them. So I'm talking about six permutation six. If I'm talking about the permutation six permutation six is factorial six. Il you was six, fill five, fill four, fill three, fill two, fill one. This equal to seven hundred and twenty. You got that. يعني هذه من الأسئلة اللي لازم تجي في الـ في الـ الكويزات الـ permutation والـ combination يا قال contain the string ABC قال إنه contain the string ABC يعني الـ ABC لازم موجودة as one part now we move to the combination اللي هو الـ N CR أو إن ال 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 اللي هي ال combination of N and R or in another word تنكتب كذا another way I mean تنكتب كذا هي التوافق again the combination عندي N من الأشياء وبختار منها R من الأشياء ولكن with no order in this case هذا الفرق ما بين the combination وال permutation مش مهم the order مو مهم the order أنا بس بختار are things out of n things. Okay. In CR, in R, يسمونها binomial coefficient. مثلا, if I have the set ABC, ACD is a three combination of S. DCA هي نفسها. لاحظوا. نفسها بس بترتيب مختلف. It's considered the same. فإن الـ order does not matter. The order we list does not matter. And this is what I said here. No order is needed. الحين مثلا example إذا عندي الـ combination 4, 2 is equal to 6. مثلا لو عندي الـ ABCD, those are all the two combinations we can make out of this ABCD. Six actual combination we can do out of this. Example, or here, here is the, the rule actually for the combination. It's factorial n على factorial n minus r multiplied with factorial r and again the calculator always you will find this button in CR that help you find the combination. Example. How many Walker hand of five cards can be dealt from a standard deck of 52 cards. فأنا قاعد أتكلم عن إيش؟ 52 cards ورق اللعب هذا. عندي 52 cards. How many I'm choosing? Five. Permutation ولا combination?
Yeah, I'm back. I'm back, but I'm worried about the record. طيب إن شاء الله إن الريكورد ما صار فيه مشكلة. You can see the slide now. شايفين السلايد معي؟ طيب. Let's finish the last examples we have. إن شاء الله إن الريكورد لازال شغال. Uh, so, in this example, they are asking about how many bucker hands of five cars can be dealt from a standard deck of 52 cars. I'm talking about the playing cards. And the 52, بختار منهم five. And the 52, I'm going to choose five out of them. ف it is permutation or combination? What do you think? في order or no order هنا? What do you think? الحين أنا بختار خمس ورق أوراق لعب. Is it, is it important إن ترتيب إيش راح يكون؟ I don't care. So this is actually a combination. So actually I'm talking about 52 combination 5. As you can see, they make it C52 5. This is the rule and this will be the answer. مو مهم عندي الديتيلز هذه، أنتم لو كتبتوا كذا وأعطيتوني الأنسر. It's more than enough for me, then I know you are using your calculator. But the second part of the question, also, how many ways are there to select 47 cards from the deck of 52? I'm going to choose 47 from 52. Order or no order? Select 47 from 52. Order or no order? No order. طبعا order, no order ما يعطيك مياه في السؤال. انتو تفهمونها من الكونسبت للسؤال. من كونسبت السؤال نفسه. Clearly أنا لما اختار ورق. الورق هذا ما يهمني من جاي أول من جاي ثاني. So I don't care about it. It's no order thing. So I'm talking about combination. It's 52. Combination 47. As you can see here's the answer. Uh, combination 52-47. This will be the answer. Okay. المثال اللي قبل يا ريناد لما كان 3 كان عندي first prize وكان عندي second prize وكان عندي third prize يفرق انا لو اعطيت محمد الجائزه الاولى ولا اعطيت محمد الجائزه الثالثه صح ولا لا يا ريناد؟ يفرق ولا ما يفرق؟ الاوردر مختلف ولا لا؟ يفرق معي الاوردر؟ يفرق لما قلت راح اختار بريزيدنت وفايس فايس بريزيدنت يفرق الاول راح يكون رئيس والثاني راح يكون نائب الرئيس لو سويت سويتش اتس نوت ذا سيم لكن لما اتكلم عن بلاين كارد انا حطيت هذه اول وهذه ثاني ما يفرق انا اخترته المجموعه هذه Now let me give you a simple example we have here so many examples let's check them all شيء how many ways are there to select five players from a 10-member tennis team to make a trip to match in another school? فواضح إن أنا عندي 10 وبختار منهم كم؟ Five. Order or no order? Five players of 10 members of the tennis team. في order ولا no order? طبعاً no order. أنا ما يهمني أنا في الاختيار مين أول مين ثاني. هم just five players بختارهم. So I'm talking about combination here. I'm talking about 10 combination 5. So 10 combination 5 equal to 252. Check this example again. A group of 30 people have been trained as astronauts to go on the first mission to Mars. How many ways are there to select a crew of six people to go to the mission? And I can be 30 people. So it's long training as an astronaut to go to Mars. بختار منهم كم؟ 6 order ولا no order؟ no order صح؟ ما يهمني من اول من ثاني من ثالث. So it's no order thing so I'm talking about 30 combination 
six, and this will be the result. So, let me give you this. And how many ways we can choose Mm, let's say no, the same president and vice president from class of 40 students. Yalla, what will be the answer? بختار president و vice president يعني بختار اثنين out of what of 40 order or no order هنا order so I'm talking about 40 permutation 2 طيب in how many ways we can choose a group of five students out of 40. And I did the same 40. Like I have to in a group of five in this time. Order or no order? No. The order of the group I have No order. So I'm talking about 40 permutation. Oh, sorry, it's combination here. It is uh, 40 combination five. Okay. لأنه ما فيها order. لما أتكلم عن painting لوحات مثلاً أتكلم عن books. لما بختار books بختار papers. كلها ما فيها order. لكن لما بختار جائزة، لما بختار position، بيكون فيها order أكيد، يا؟ yeah? هذا the previous Okay, and we are done. Today's class is done. Now, there, there are those revision files. Uh, where is it? Here. This is the revision file. You will find it in the LMS. The revision file is on the day, which is counting, and it is on the probability that we will take next time. For example, this is question one. The A is on the counting. The B is on the probability. So this is the part that we took the day. Solve it, huh? Next time, I'm going to review this with you. And you come to question two. هذا مثلا related to the counting how many six character password can be made using ABC DEF and one to six هنا this one again related to the counting هذا probability okay for كل the questions هذه part A part A هو اللي معاكم next time we're gonna discuss it inshallah make sure to solve it it is already posted in the LMS I will try my best, inshallah, and I'll record the video.